Hello friends, in IBM BPM and Business Automation Workflow, let's take a look at the four types of gateways which are present for decisions within our flow and branching out the flow. The four types of gateways which are present are exclusive gateway, inclusive gateway, parallel gateway and event gateway. The first gateway type and the most commonly used gateway type is exclusive gateway. It should have minimum two lines coming out of it. One of them is a default line and second one is a decision line. But there is no upper limit on the outgoing lines and for each line there is a decision. The decisions uh, are evaluated from top to bottom and as soon as one of the decision evaluates to true, the path is taken for that particular line. So let's try to run it and see it in action. We have set the first one to one to false, second one to true and the default flow is to end. As you can see the true path has been taken by the flow and the token is on the user task one which was set to true. The second type of gateway is an inclusive gateway. In this gateway, parallel tokens can be created and all the conditions are evaluated. So if more than one condition is evaluates to true, all those paths are taken except for the default flow. The default flow is only taken when all the remaining conditions are false. So let's try to run it. We have set both the paths to true. So let's take a look. As you can see, it takes the user task and the user task one both the routes. Now if we set both the conditions to false, it should take the default path. Yes, it has taken the default path when all the remaining conditions are. So let's set one of the conditions to true and another one to false. Only the path which is true is taken. An inclusive gateway can act as a split as well as a join. The next type of gateway is a parallel gateway. Parallel gateway is basically a split and a join. In this type of gateway, there can be n number of conditions. There is no default condition and there are no decision evaluations for any of the lines. All the lines coming out of the parallel gateway are taken and all the tokens coming in are combined into one in case of a join. So let's take a look at the working of a parallel gateway. As you can see, tokens have been created for all the parallel flows. The last type of gateway is an event gateway. A event gateway has predefined two lines coming out of it. One is attached to a timer and one is attached to a message listener. So it works like this, it waits for a message, list, message to come in for the message listener until the timer has expired. That means it will wait, for example, it will wait for two hours. Within two hours, the message comes in, it's fine. Otherwise, the, this particular flow coming out of the timer is taken. Meaning wait till a certain time for a message to come. So let's see the working of it. So we have set this timer to one minute expiry so within one minute the timer will fire so there are two tokens one for the timer and one for the message listener since we are not going to send a message uh, let's wait for the timer to expire and see the path go this route one minute has passed and the timer has fired and the token has moved to the this particular path so that concludes our session for the all the four types of gateways which are exclusive gateway inclusive gateway parallel gateway and event gateway thanks for watching